Remember to download my free technique program. You can download it uh, in the link just under the video here and it's free. Hi there, this is a fun little sweep picking tapping lick and kind of a different way to do it. The reason that I'm showing you this kind of show off type of lick instead of some of the the, the stuff that I've been focusing on in the previous few lessons is because I know that also some of the people who, uh, who are watching also prefers this type of uh, shredding and I love this type of, type of uh, playing too. Um, but the reason that I wanted to do this specific one was actually because I haven't played this before and I just wanted to go through the process of learning it with you because uh, I just learned it and I just realized or noticed that there was a specific way that I was learning it to be able to play it, which was a little bit significant. So I wanted to share that, that with you. So of course also we can, we'll talk about how to implement this, but uh, I want to talk about the practicing uh, process, uh, especially here, because it's kind of, kind of, kind of interesting. Because what I noticed was, um, the, it's just an A minor, and this is typical A minor triad in three inversions, and I only play them uh, descending, descending style. But since I add that sing, single tapping uh, to each of the uh, patterns, uh, what happens is, uh, first of all, it becomes quite a bit tougher to play it. Um, because uh, the tapping, the intervals between the tapping and the, and the sweep picking pattern is, is kind of large, <laughs> it's kind of big. So, so what happens then is that I need to focus on a, a big part of the guitar, which is kind of annoying. So what I noticed was that uh, was made it much easier was first of all, if I started just practicing between the first and the second, and once I got the idea down, once I got it programmed into my brain what to do, then I practiced between the second and the third pattern, or whatever uh, row you want to call it. And then I put it to all together at uh, last second. So my, um, if you've never played these sweep picking patterns before, obviously you're in for a, for, for a piece of work. That's for damn sure. But... Um, <clears throat> But if you've played these uh, tr uh, triad arpeggios before, what I noticed was that I had to pr uh, focus mostly on the tapping to, to be, be sure to, to, play, uh, to tap the right note. If I try to focus on both the sweep picking pattern and the tapping, then uh, it's really, really tough getting it right. I keep play kept playing the wrong notes in both hands, actually, if I try to focus on both. So if my focus was on the tapping, then the sweep picking kind of falls into place right after. So focus on the tapping and then the sweep picking, focus on the tapping and then the sweep picking. That's what I do through this process. It's kind of, it's kind of funny. So let me just show you what I do here. The first thing I do is I tap this note, the first note, and I start the pattern. And since I know this pattern very well, I already at this point start thinking about the tapping for the next note, which is right here. So, okay, so let me say this again. Um, the first thing I do is I play the first pattern, which is, let me give you the notes. I tap the 20th fret and then I pull off to 17, 12 here, and then uh, on the high E string, and then uh, 13 on the B, 14 on the G and D, and then 15. And then I actually pull off for the last note. And the reason for that is just, I wanna move into the next pattern here. So I pull off between 15 and 12, and then I tap uh, 17 here on the high E string, pull off and pull off between 12 and eight, and then 10 on the B, nine on the G, 10 on the D, and then uh, I pull off between 12 and seven on the A string. And at this point I tap 12 on the high E string, pull off and then pull off between eight and five 
on the B string and then I roll over the uh, 5 on B, G and then roll over 7 on D, A and then pull off or you can actually, since it's the last one, you can just play with the pick up here on 8 and down on 5. So, but, but the process of learning it was, as I said before, I started with just moving between these two and remember to pull off on the on the last string in this case of the first two it's the a string um, so now i'm starting to look at the tapping and now i'm starting to look at the tapping and what i mean by that is that while i'm playing the sweep picking Pro, uh, at this point here, between while I'm sweep picking, I'm starting to look for the next note to tap. So I tap and then I pull off, thank God, between the right notes. And then while I sweep here, I'm looking for the next note to tap, which is right, oh, which is right here. So that was the practicing. Uh, um, sequence for me, uh, practicing between practicing between the first one um, and this one, because what you want to avoid here, you want to avoid the break. So as soon as this note, as you pull up between these two last notes on the A string, immediately after that tap uh, comes in. And then after I practice the first two and they start to uh, come together, then, then I practice the next two. Like that. And since it's just an A minor, um, what I do is I, I um, if I wanted to use it for improvising, I wouldn't start with the tap and it's just uh, to make it easier for myself. I would probably um, play in the uh, third position of the major scale here and then go into the lick. And then once I'm here, I'm in the uh, sixth position of the major scale. So I hope you enjoyed these lessons about implementing sweep picking tapping in a very subtle way, in a very musical way, making sure that it doesn't sound like you trying to create melody from the scales nice and slow and then suddenly you break into this amazing crazy lick. It has to be a more an organic way which is what we're going to focus on in this new program Eximius um, so that everything comes together and sounds like you actually so it, so it doesn't sound like a lick it sounds like more it's a continuation of your playing and there will be no, so that you don't get those breaks between improvising and lick and stuff like that. Check out the, the lick, uh, link under the video here. And also, also if you wanted the, the tablet shirt for the free lesson, it's also in the link under the video. Subscribe to my channel. <laughs>